All right, guys, got a package here from banggood.com. We're going to take a look at double box. There's your first box. Here's your second box. All right. TFL Zonda carbon fiber edition. This one comes with a boat stand. Boat stand. And that's it, fellas. The TFL boat stand and the boat, the hull, that is, actually. Um, I'll get it out of this plastic here in a second. All right, and there you have it. Black carbon version. Guys, this thing, uh, there's no hardware, does not come with any hardware, not a rudder, props, no prop shafts, not anything. It, 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 is, it isn't even uh, drilled. So uh, it's a complete build hull. Um, nice carbon fiber there, really thick. A lot of them you can see through. Very nice. Um, the hole here, no electronics tray, no, no battery tray, no motor mounts, not anything at all, bare hole. Uh, wanted to make a video of this. I was kind of under the impression that possibly it had uh, motor mounts and electronics tray, uh, ready to rig, so to speak. But uh, once it came in here, it's a hull only. I did ask uh, Main Good and TFL boats, is that the case? And they said that's that's the case. I think this thing's like 630. Uh, I saw like six 680 regular price. I'll probably have a code in the in the description if I can get one. But um, I was uh, under the impression it was a ready to rig boat, just add electronics and. Uh, go but that's that's not the case but anyways i just wanted to uh do an unboxing let everybody know what you get with the tfl 1133 carbon fiber edition zonda um that's it that's what you get so i've got a i've got a plan to get this thing up and going uh, a couple options uh uh you know we've got a lot of boats coming out now pro boats killing it right now with uh stuff they're putting out so I'm, that and work i'm kind of uh busy don't have a whole lot of time for it but i'm going to uh explore a couple of options one with um uh, das boda chris hoffman he's he's itching at the bit to put a 56 millimeter can in this one right here and roll with it but uh another option is uh offshore electrics looking at uh doing some stuff with, with those guys so uh we will uh see how it shakes out and um you'll see this thing in the future in one shape one form or another so i uh, just wanted to give a shout out for banggood.com for sending this thing out let me take a look at it and uh you'll see a carbon version of some sort here in the coming weeks as time allows and we will uh, look to uh, push it well over 100 miles an hour. I think we can do that. So anyways, uh, appreciate everybody hanging around, taking a look at it. And I will uh, show this right here. A lot of people have been asking about this. I haven't really talked, talked a lot about it. My little rescue float here. There it is. A lot, lot of comments on, tell me about your rescue float. Well, it's made out of half inch PVC and uh, T's and 90's and a few 45's. I've got some threads here, some threaded couplers where I can break it down and it's uh, not too bulky to take along. But this, this second bar right here, guys, if you go to make this, 
this is a must uh, your, your push rig right here you get to pushing something heavy especially a capsized boat you're going to play heck uh, getting her pushed in because what's going to happen is your push boat is going to want to ride over this and then, then you have to have to get something to rescue your rescue rig because they'll be they'll be uh, knotted up out there but uh if you make one pvc pipe a half inch a few couplers and uh so uh, you know i'd recommend the the threaded couplers here so you can break her loose but uh the top bar is a must if not your your, your rescue ship will be pushing a heavy boat and it'll ride over the top of it i about lost the impulse 31 a few years ago uh because my i had one built without that top bar on it but uh and another must this 45 degree angle here if you don't have that when you're pushing it in the water this thing just digging in starts digging into the water so uh put you some 45s on the end uh keep the ski effect going when you're rolling down through there and uh that's all you got but a lot a lot of people ask about that rescue setup and i figured i'd throw it in on this video here didn't want to make one specifically for that but that's what we got the rescue float and the carbon fiber 1133 zonda hull edition i'll have it linked in the description of maingood.com and uh you guys can check it out if you want but just know you will have to have some uh quite a few other parts to get this thing rolling right here i appreciate it guys thank you